Hey all, I'm in Plotly, um, and I have some data here in the spreadsheet portion. That's up top, and then we have a graph portion down here. So, I have some data in the spreadsheet. I have X data and Y data, and I have error on the X and error on the Y. So those will be our error bars. We're learning how to make a plot, um, a scatter plot in Plotly with error bars on our data points. So. We can call it a graph, we can call it whatever we want, but Plotly calls it a trace. So we want to add a trace. This is under the structure. Um, these tabs on the left are kind of our um, options. So under the structure option, which is kind of the overarching graph, we have plus trace. Um, oh, quickly before I do that, I have, so I have five rows, but I actually have six rows of data so I want to be able to see them all and I'm gonna bring this bar down a little bit so that I can see everything can I yeah just a little bit more good so now I can see the title and I can see all five of my data points so my scatter plot I want to choose my X data and plotly just has us choose rows so it's nice and convenient we don't have to highlight um, and our Y data is column C. All we have to do is choose the column letter. And here are data points. We've got five of them, and they're all showing up. That's awesome. What we have next to do is to add error bars. That's going to be in style, and it's going to be the style of the trace. So um, all the way on the bottom of this, um, scroll all the way in the bottom we have error bars X and error bars Y so these errors are symmetric we're believing to be symmetric so we're gonna click symmetric for the X error bars and there's some error types so percent is the percent of the X value that's not what we want we could have one constant that's not what we want either we could have the square root of the X data that's not what we want either we want data we want data that we took ourselves. So we click data and we choose what column we're in. And our um, X error is in the B column. And they show up right here. And now we can do the same for Y and we can choose symmetric data. And now we have column D. Great. So now we have error bars on here. See, some of them are kind of small. Um, you can barely see them. I want to switch away from these points. Um, I'm using, if I scroll up, so I'm on the style of the trace. I can change what the points are. Right now, they're circles. Um, but some of these error bars are short, and I want to be able to see them. So I'm going to choose for symbol. I'm going to switch. And I like the X because the X has the diagonal lines, so they don't get confused with the lines from the error bars. So now, I mean, you can even still barely see it. I can, I have the zoom from these tools enabled so that I can go like this. If I zoom in far enough, I finally get to see this Y error bar. It's very, very small. This is on the fourth point. This zoom out button and then I can go over the spot I want and zoom back in be careful with um, clicking and dragging on the graph because you'll end up zooming in um, unless you switch from the zoom button to the pan button and then it'll move you so if you get lost if you get too zoomed in on accident you go in somewhere use these two zoom in and out you can jam, zoom out, and then you can just use the magnifying glass and get your data back. So we have our X um, labels and our Y labels. I want um, I want these error bars to be just a little bit more visible. So a cool thing, we can choose the style of the error bars. Um, and because we have copy Y style on the X error bar, we only have to set it once. 
I want the thickness to be a little bit smaller so we can see our X is better. And I want the crossbar width to be a little bit taller. So we can see on this one at least, our small X error bar, we can still see it. Um, and we know when we see vertical lines or horizontal lines, they're not our data points because our data points have our, their X's. So our data points have diagonals. Anyway, here's our graph. We can even, if we click any of these, we can add titles. We just write X for our X axis and Y for our Y axis. And let's title it scatter plot with error bars. Oops. <laughs> and now let's fix my spelling. Great. Scatter plot with error bars. So here's our plot with error bars. Um, you can see we went through how to do it, how to choose which columns we're using for data, and how we can affect the style of our error bars and points so that we can make things more visible. Um, so there it is. And that concludes this video.